Hello, so this is how to solder on a 5 pin connector. This is a common OP900, 901, where you only have the bare wires and you don't know the pin out or which wire goes to which pin. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you will need a soldering iron. So first thing you do is you put your left hand around the black end and with your right hand you're going to turn. So it's actually going to remove the metal housing and you'll notice all these connectors, there's five of these. Just to show you up close, so if you could see there's numbers, this would be one, two, three, four, five. It goes clockwise, so this top one right here would be one where the notch is. So your, it would correlate to one here, two, three, four, five. There's also numbers in the back if you could see it. So your one is your excitation positive, which is red cable. Your two is your signal positive or green cable. Your three is signal negative or white cable. And then four is signal negative or your black cable. Okay, so with that coordination, I'll repeat it. So red, green, white, black. When you turn it over, remember this one is the red, green, white, black. So you need something to actually hold on to it. So I have a block here, it clamps on it and allows me to just put it here and I could start putting some solder on these ends so it could actually help stick on to the cable if you don't have a block you need something else to hold it up because if you have one hand here and then try and do it it's possible but how are you going to also feed in the solder so you need something to hold on to your actual five pin somewhere even if it's like leaning against the table you can do it but for now you would just take your soldering iron you take your solder and you actually start soldering on each end so close up how it looks so take my solder soldering iron and I'm actually gonna hold it here and feed it against it Make sure you have plenty of solder on it. You can do the next one. I just like to turn it. So hold up against it. Okay, so that's the next one. So now do pin three. And now we we'll feed in for pin four. Okay, so you notice how I skipped pin five. That's a shield cable. That cable is actually not needed. Sometimes we actually cut it off in a factory, but we're not gonna have to solder down one end. You'll see how they all have a little bit of solder on them. That helps stick on better. Next, grab your cable and we're actually going to tin the cable itself. And I was just about to solder and I was looking at the cables. It's actually too long. Do you remember the metal housing we have? Once you put the metal housing on here and you take your 5 pin, so this is going to screw in. It's going to be too long, so you're actually going to have exposed wires. It's going to look more like this, where the wires are going to be exposed here. So, what you're actually going to do is take about this much of the cable. So you go up a little bit and we're actually going to cut some of the cable so gotta make sure it's the proper length this should probably be fine separate them out so it's a good thing to check because if it's too long you just have exposed wire so you're going to take your wire stripper now It took me a couple of tries, but I finally got the proper length. So sometimes you might cut one of the cables off by accident or strip it too far. Just make sure all the wires are good. Twist any bare ends. Put it on here. And then take your soldering iron. 
and actually put some solder on each end. So now you can see how solder in each end. Each end is a little long. You'll see why when you put it together. So I'm actually going to cut a little bit. So. It's not too long. So take your five pin connector that has all the solder on it. Remember. Pin one is red, right here. So that correlates to this pin right here, being the red cable. Pin two is green and white and black. So since I'm soldering it the other way around, it's gonna be this way. And actually, don't forget, take your metal housing, loosen the screws and put it on here. Cause you won't be able to take it, put it back later. So you have to unsolder it later and do this all over again. So take this. Take your screwdriver, loosen both screws, and you're gonna feed together. Be careful not to break the cables. Okay, so you just feed it through. Okay. Separate them out again. Okay, so now we're actually going to join. So this is pin one right here. So I'm actually going to take my solder and iron and I'm going to connect it together. So I'm going to turn this. So this is why we tin both sides because you're able to see it better. We'll call together. Okay, so that's one end soldered on. I turn a little bit more. So now second pin, heat up. Okay, that one's fine. Next one, so I'm gonna heat this one up as well. Last one. You might need to have some solder on the tip of your soldering iron to help with heating it up, but got that one on. So now check your work. So pin one, the red cable then the green cable which is pin 2 white cable pin 3 and then pin 4 has a black cable okay all the soldering connections are in make sure none of these cross if they do they'll cause a short and cause your cable not to work properly and make sure none of them break because a lot of times they get error 6 messages over one of these cables breaking off from solder points. So move your connector back on. And you're gonna slowly go back on. Okay, so now you added your five pin to your cable. So now test it out and see if it works.